Hi, welcome to Space Gas Tutorial. In this video, we will be modeling and analyzing a three-span continuous T-beam of 8 meters, which is used to support a 120 millimeters thick slab spanning 2 meters between the T-beams. The beam is subjected to three load cases, as shown in this diagram. And we need to find out the bending moment and shear force envelopes from these load cases. Let's get started. First, click on the Draw Member button on the main menu to start drawing a beam. Click anywhere on the screen to start drawing the first node of the beam. Note that even though you can start drawing from anywhere, it is usually a good practice to start your drawing from the origin. Drag the mouse horizontally to the right. Enter 8 meters from the keyboard. Drag the mouse to the right again, enter 8 meters for the second span. And again drag the mouse horizontally to the right, and enter 8 meters for the last span. Right click the mouse to finish the drawing action. You have now finished the drawing of three beam elements. Next, select all four nodes that have just been created. And assign pin support to them. Next step is to assign a cross section to our spans. We can do this through Section Builder. Select T section and enter appropriate dimensions. You can select Outline Mode to make it a bit easier to view our T-spans. Next, we will assign a material to the spans. In this case, we are using concrete material. Next, we will assign loading. Select all three spans, right-click and choose loads, and then distribute forces. Enter the appropriate values for each load case as follows.
Once you've done setting up load cases, you can review them in the drop-down box here. Once you've finished creating geometry, assigning material and cross-section properties, you can now run the analysis. Since the analysis has been completed, you can now view the result, such as bending moment, that is corresponding to the currently selected load case. Or, you can see the envelope of all load cases. Note that you can see the results of other types of design actions such as shear forces, axial forces, deflection, and many others. This is the end of the session. See you in the next one.